hi everyone and very warm welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you how you can do rack on excel files using llama index in a very very easy way if you think about it the major bottleneck in creating any enterprise grade application powered by ai is to provide that application your own data that data mostly is in csv or excel format among other formats llama index is one of the easiest and quite solid way to convert your own enterprise data into ai compatible format and that is where we will be doing a hands-on demo by using free google colab to parse an excel file and do retrieval augmented generation or rag with it before I show you this hands and demo, allow me to uh, just give a shout out to Mast Compute who are running a generative AI Hacktober 2024 where you can send your own creativity in terms of text, images or video and then win few uh, free compute credits. I already have done a detailed video on it as what exactly this means and how you can participate and also some cheat sheet as how to win this. I will be one of the judges in this competition so feel free to send over your contributions. I will drop the link to it in video's description. Okay coming back to our llama index stuff so there are two things which you would require for this uh, video if you are following along first you would need to create an account on a llama cloud and then from there you will get an api key from the left hand side you will get free credit when you first sign up this is one thing you would need another thing we would be using open ai's model so you would need to go to platform.openai.com and grab your api key from there that is a paid option okay so that's out of the way let me take you to my google colab so that we will just dive right into it so this is my free google colab i'm not going to go with the gpu runtime because we will be using mostly api based stuff so we are just going to keep it as is if you don't know what google colab is have never logged in there just go to colab.google.com and from there all you need to do is to create a free account with google and then you can simply start using it so first up let's install llama index let's also install llama parse so llama parse is a secret sauce or the utility which primarily enables you to parse your excel files so what exactly we are doing here is we are going to just take any excel file you can use your own excel file with your own data i'm just going to go with a sample uh, publicly available bp's excel file uh, with some financial data in it so you just take your excel file you provide it to llama um, parse which is a utility by llama index and then you can start chatting with your excel file you can extract intelligence out of it with the help of openai's model and that is what we are going to do here and llama index magic is that it hides a lot of complexities from that process because rag involves a lot of stuff like you have to convert it into a numerical representation after splitting it into smaller pieces and you have to store it in the vector store lot of things which you need to do which llama index and llama parse ensure you don't really have to worry about so you see that llama index and all of this stuff is already installed next up let's import these libraries which we have installed let me show you what it is and don't worry about the code i'm going to give you the link to this notebook so you see that we are importing llama index and llama parse here let me run it shouldn't take too long Let's wait for it. It is going to import all of it. That's done. Also, llama parse is async first. So it, is, it just gives the command and instead of hanging, it just moves on to the next line. So we need to make sure that we um, run this nest async IO and that is required for the notebook. Okay, so that is done. Next up, we need to set our open AI's API key and model for that. Let me show you the command. So if you look here, what is happening? 
we are setting the open AI's api key which you can grab from platform.openai.com and then we are specifying the models here and you can compare them you can go with one or all of them so now one way of setting your api key from openai is to just set it here or the better way is to click on this key icon here on the left hand side and you will see that these are all the secrets which are already defined if you haven't it already just click on add new secret like this and then set your open api key here and save it here and then just enable it by toggling the button i already have it so i'm just going to go up where it is there it is so i'm just going to toggle it on another key which i would need is llama clouds api key which i showed you earlier so i'm also toggling it on so it means that i can use these two secrets in my notebook and i don't have to expose them by copy pasting in public and how do i use that all you need to do is to grab this from here just copy it cancel it and then from here maybe i'll just put it here and for the secret name again just go here and you see we had this open api key let me copy it go back and then where it says secret name just put your secret name here that's all you needed to do so we are setting open api key you can again cut it from here and just paste here so this is going to set our open api key here in this environment how good is that so let me run it so the our key is set next up let's set the llama cloud key with the parser and as i mentioned earlier this is where we are setting our llama parse and llama parse is llama indexes document parser that can parse a variety of document types including excel files into well formatted outputs so we are going to rely on llama parse to parse an excel sheet into structured markdown and we are going to use uh, the markdown element node parser to parse the llama parse output markdown results and build a hierarchical index over this data for retrieval these are big words but very simple concept i will shortly show you but before that you see that it is asking for llama cloud api key here similarly let's click on this key icon and then scroll down so i have already my key save here so i'm just going to grab this from here and i'm just going to paste it the instead of api key or maybe i'll just grab it first so i'll just go here paste it here scroll down just copy it from here and then grab it just cut this and replace it with the secret name and then just cut it and instead of this llx just paste it here that's all we needed to do in terms of setting this key i have just um, cancelled it so it's all good now also next up we need to upload our excel sheet for that again click on this folder icon and then from there just click on this upward arrow and then from your local system just upload your excel file which you want to give here you can give it your own or you can just simply go to any public document which you like and upload it here so let me upload the excel file just click ok and you see that our excel file is uploaded if i double click it it is going to ok it's not showing me here i can i think i can preview anyway we'll see it later so just click on copy path from here and cancel it it is already saved and from here you can simply replace it with the path of this file and then uh, just run this cell and you can see that it has started parsing this file and it's already done under this job id if you want to check the length of the document which you have uploaded you can some simply run this python length function you can see that we have 44 of them if you want to just print out what exactly in the file any sample uh, item from there you see this is the financial data and some of the uh, all q1 q2 data is there so this is what we are going to use it here okay so as i mentioned we are going to run this node parser with the markdown format and this is where llama index comes to play so all we are doing it we are just giving it markdown node parser with our gpt4o mini model and we are specifying four workers 
then in order to parse the document all you need to do is to run this command which is going to parse the documents and we're just taking few of them not all of them just to in the benefit of time and also it will save us some money because we are using openai's api credits this is going to take slightly um, bit of a time as you can see so let's wait for it to finish and you can see that all the nodes are done the concept of node is quite uh, interesting in llama index a node represents a chunk of a source document whether that is a text chunk an image or other similar to documents these nodes contain metadata and relationship information with other nodes nodes are really first class citizen in llama index and we can define the attributes and stuff directly with llama index a real cool concept i have done few videos on it if you are interested okay so let's save these nodes here like objects and paste nodes from the parser which we have obtained you can also check it out what are how many nodes are there so if you just do length with the nodes, you will see that 27 nodes and you can even print, print the objects within the nodes which we have just done so let me run it there you go so it is telling you what exactly is present in this one next up um, whenever we store our own data we have to build an index because index makes the retrieval faster on our data so here we are primarily building the index with these models which we specified above and these are the recursive query ones you can go with any one of them if you like so that's all done and now we can test the queries so and i'm going to test the recursive queries let me show you so the first query i am asking throughout my excel sheet is what is the sales and other operating revenues in 2020 and we are just going with recursive from o1 model o1 pre preview and then gpt4 o mini okay what is happening okay i think i just didn't declare it let me fix that typo here so because i have just gone with gpt4 or mini so i have removed the other two and the query is done let me print the response as what is the sales there you go so the sales and other operating revenues in 2020 amount to this and of course you can glean more intelligence out of it if you really take a step back and think about it you're primarily talking with your excel file with the help of a large language model you don't have to worry about converting your excel sheet into proper rag format uh, you don't have to worry about splitting it chunking it converting it into embedding storing in vector store doing the re-ranking and then doing the retrieval augmenting it with your prompt giving it to your llm the whole rag pipeline stuff all of it has been abstracted very nicely by llama index and behind the scene it is using its llama parse utility plus taking advantage of llama cloud for indexing and all that stuff so really really good stuff here that is done let's try out another example so in this one i'm asking it in which year the sales and other os operating revenues is greater than this many million so let's wait for it there you go how quick how easy that has become and finally let's try out one more example and in this one i'm asking it which quarter and years has total revenues and other income greater than this and let's wait for it it is going to do the analysis there you go so it has given you all the information in a very very proper format and of course you can do any analytical queries you like sky is the limit here and your creativity so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching